yeah you guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's your girl abby aka abby niger so if you're new to my channel welcome i hope you're gonna enjoy my videos i hope you're gonna love my channel here i do all kinds of stuff i do whatever i want to do i do fashion beauty hairstyle whatever it is i also give tutorials as well so you can check out my instagram for some more tutorials as well so you're here you're watching this video and you're here because you just upgraded your iphone and you have the ios 14 and everyone has widgets now iphone or apple finally caught up with the widgets idea you know so yeah so we have widgets now so we have some really cool stuff on the latest ios 14 i'm gonna be doing a separate video showing you the different kinds of features like the new features on the latest ios update uh, but this video is mainly about the ios 14 and the widgets and how to customize your layouts you know everyone has been showing off their layouts on twitter on tiktok and yeah i just updated my iphone this morning and i was so bored and i said abby you love doing things like this and i decided to hop on it and do one as well so i'm going to show you guys how to customize your widgets and all of that and i'm just going to make it as easy as possible for you guys so i hope you guys will enjoy it i think i'm talking too much now so i'm just going to jump right into this video so yeah if you want to watch keep watching and do not skip any part because if you skip you're gonna miss some important parts so yeah let's go okay guys so we're gonna get started on creating the widgets uh, so this is what my screen looks like at the moment so this is my main screen it has a calendar the clock and it has some apps that i use a lot and it also has like some widgets and stuff like that and this is the other page it has this motivational quotes thing that comes up all the time and all of that stuff so guys i'm gonna be showing you i'm gonna start i'm gonna do this step by step just so it's clear so Usually, once you've updated your iPhone, your apps and everything are still going to remain the same. And then there's a new feature on the iPhone. Uh, it's called App Library. So this is where all your apps go to. So I use this for apps that I don't really use like that, but I'm not ready to delete. So I just put everything on the App Library and stuff like that. So you can put all your apps in the App Library. And because I've already decorated or I've already customized my feed, I'm going to be using this page to sort of like show you how to get started. So the first things first, we're going to have to create our widgets. So to do this, we're going to go to App Store. We're going to download this app called Widget Smith. So once you download the app and you just open the app, you have so many types of widgets. So we have the small widgets. These are some I've already created myself. And we have the medium and the large so let's create a new medium widget so the medium widgets you can just click on default so there's different styles so you can decide to choose like the whole full date and calendar and stuff like that you can choose the clock ones you can choose whatever so we're gonna be going with um, this one that says month and date so once you click on that you can go to um, also guys, I just wanted to mention quickly, just in case you want to use like a different picture. So maybe you have like a motivate, uh, maybe you have like a quotes thing that you found online that you really like when I have it on your home screen, you can go to photos and then you just click on photo and then you can now select photo from your album and just use that for your thing for your widgets but I'm, I'm not using that now so i'm just gonna change that i'm gonna be using the normal um dates and stuff um yeah so there's there are other options as well so you can use your calendar upcoming events things that you want to remember so you can set a reminder so maybe you have a to-do list on your phone that you want to show maybe you want to wake you wake up in the morning and you just want to see your to-do list and things that you want to get done during the day so you can choose that on your reminders there's the weather stuff but i think you need to you need to upgrade to have that and there's so many other things like that so you can change the fonts as well so maybe you want a different font so there's different options for fonts there i'm gonna be going with the rounded font so tint color so you want to have a different color so there's different colors out there that you can use you can change the background color so you can try maybe you want something really aesthetic or minimalistic <laughs> so i'm gonna go with cream and then i'm gonna use uh let me see what tint color would be cute um I'm going to go with the red tint color and then go back to background color and then I'm going to go to the borders so you can add borders. You can use white, pink, red, whatever. So I'm going to be using the white border color. Once you're done, you can rename this so you can remember once you want to 
customize your home feed so i'm going to change this to calendar i think um calendar two and then save it so once you're done creating your widgets there are other um widgets apps that you can use as well so for this motivational course thing on my feed sorry on my screen right now there's this app called motivation for this um calendar thing that shows my battery sign uh the app is called color widgets so there's different widgets apps that you can actually try out so i'm gonna go back to the screen that i want to start customizing so one of the new features of the ios 14 is you can now long press your screen to customize your app so now you click on the plus sign on the top left corner of the screen and then you scroll down and then you find widget smith so you click on widget smith um you can use a small widgets medium or large depending on which one you've created and which one you want to use so i'm going to be using the medium widgets so you click on add widgets and then whilst the thing is on the screen just click on the widget again click on calendar 2 so this is a new calendar that you just created so the calendar should be showing on your screen right now and that's that so you can continue to do this you can continue to customize your widgets um i think let me show you how to use the let me show you how to use the color widgets so you go to app store as usual download the color widgets app and then once you've downloaded the app open the app so we have different kinds of really cool and cute widgets for like dates and calendars and stuff like that so um i think oh this this looks fancy i'm gonna use this one let me edit the widgets so you can edit the widgets and just like change the colors if you want just customize it play around with it and you can change the font and things like that and you can actually add a new image so you, you just in case you don't want the plain background you can add a photo from your album and just use that so you set your widgets and now you go back to the home screen that you want to customize long press on the screen again click on the plus sign button and scroll down look for color widgets on that your widgets um and then you can just select the one that you want to use so there's the large one there's the medium and there's the small one so i'm going to be choosing a small one and then it just sits right there on the top of the screen so you can just play around with the apps and that's that about that okay guys so the next one is how to customize your app icons on your iphone so i'm going to be showing you a two way like i'm going to be showing you two ways you can do this so the first way is you can decide to go on pinterest i think pinterest is like the best place to find these icons so you can download different kinds of icons so you can download your um facebook icons twitter icons instagram icons all kinds of icons you should be able to find them on pinterest or you can go to google as well and search for free to use icons as well the icons that i'm using at the moment that i've used i actually created myself so but you can find free ones on pinterest there's so many ones you can find on pinterest i've also created a board on pinterest for you guys to find these things so i've just made it easy for you so if you want to find the board and find this um, resources just click on the link in the description bar below so now i'm going to be showing you how to do this so to create this customized app icons you have to use this app called short course short course usually come with your iphone but just in case you don't have it on your iphone you can go on the app store and download short course my only issue with using this or with doing this is the fact that once you open the app it's going to go to shortcuts first and then go into the app so i'm going to be showing you how that works now so i'm going to be opening my youtube app so as you can see it goes to shortcuts and then it opens the app i mean it's not a big deal for me but for some people it might be a big deal so if you don't like this then you don't have to do this but if you don't mind it then you can do it just to give your, your page a much cuter look i don't know anyway so we're going to go to shortcuts now and once on the short course app so these are the short course that i've created already so for each app you have to create a new short course so on the short course screen or in the app click on the plus sign button on the right side of the screen click on add action and then you can search for open app so once you click on open app please bear in mind that you need to click you need to search for open app first before you search for the app the moment you start searching for the app then it's not going to work so you make sure you, click, you search for open app and then once you click on open app click on choose and then click on the app that you want to customize 
so i'm gonna be using instagram for example so instagram so you search for instagram and then click on the three dots on the top right corner of the screen and re you name your short code so you can name it whatever ig insta instagram whatever it is that you want to do and then you click on add to home screen so now we want to change the icon so you click on the icon on the left side and choose photo and then you can go through your saved icons or whatever picture you want to use you don't have to use icons you can use any kind of picture that's the sweetest thing about this so look for your instagram icon and then just arrange it as you want it to be and you have to rename your short course so you can name your short course insta or instagram again and then click on add once you're done just click done so once you're done you should be able to find it on your screen so it's right here on my screen i don't know if you guys can see it. i'm trying i'm gonna try zoom in so you guys can see this so it's there on the screen so you can just go ahead and continue to do that um yeah so that's that so the other one i want to show you is the one on the screen so as you can see we have photos files settings google maps calculators notes and stuff like that so these are apps that have come with the iphone so if you want to do this it's just like the same one with the shortcuts so you go to shortcuts again and then you create a new shortcut add action open app again bear in mind open app and hmm, what shortcuts should we do uh okay let's do settings so settings so this is a different way to change your icons so the new ios 4 updates has also made it possible for you to change your icons and the colors of your icons as well so now you click on the three dots again and then this time around you name the shortcut so you can name it settings and then you click on the icon on the side of the name and then you have colors so you can change the color to whatever color you want to use as you can see so i'm going to be using blue this is this blue i don't know what color that is and then you go to glyph and then there's so many new icons so you can just use like um i'm going to find the settings icon and that's it that's that and then you click on done and then you add to your home screen uh rename it again to settings add done uh oh sorry <laughs> i've done this before so that's why so you just click on done and then when you go back to your home screen you'll find it right there on your home screen settings so now you can just customize your stuff and then just give it new colors and new names new stuff <laughs> so guys i hope you guys have understood the explanations that i've just made about the short course and everything else if you don't know anything or if you don't understand anything make sure you comment below with your questions i'm gonna be checking and i'm gonna try as much as possible to help you out so now for the rest of the apps like i said uh you can now like move your apps around or you, whatever apps that you don't need anymore maybe the ones that you've created shortcuts for like this one's this insert and twitter you can now go and put them in your app library so you don't have to delete them from your home screen but you can just hide them so like i said this is the app library this is where all the apps are and yeah so you can decide to continue to color code your feed web or your page I keep saying feed i'm so used to this instagram lifestyle um so you can continue to color code your screen like this one i have this blue stuff going on here i have this black and white stuff going on here it's just the same as what i've showed you uh just click on the screen click on the plot sign add your widgets and that's that and then you can move your apps around so also this trick that i want to show you not everyone knows this but if you want to move multiple apps at the same time maybe it's just too long for you to start moving things around so you can just long press on the app edit home screen and then drag the app that you want to move and then click on the other apps so you can multi pick the apps and then move them at once so this way it's just easier for you and then you can just like you can just continue to do that um what other stuff is new oh yes so if you wanna if you wanna hide a home screen so maybe there's a home screen that you just don't want to see maybe like this one right now i don't really want to see this I don't really want to see this at the moment so say you want to hide it so just long press your screen again and then click on the dots at the bottom of the screen and then there you are so this is like the ios or oh, sorry this is like the 
Android settings as well. So you can just hide whatever screen you don't want to see and then just leave that. And then if you want to see them again, just turn them on. And there you go. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you love it. I hope that, you know, you've learned something. Like I said earlier, if you do not understand something about this, just make sure you ask me in the comment section below. I'm going to try my best to help you all. You can also message me on Instagram. And I'm also going to be putting like tiny, tiny tutorials on my Instagram and on my TikTok. So make sure that you follow me on those two apps so you don't miss out on those. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Okay, guys, I'm loaded up on sugar, so I'm a bit hyper today. But have a good evening, morning, afternoon, day, whatever time you're watching this. So I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.